It was a sunny day in Polnumia. Star Shower was out for a walk when she encountered her best friend, Heart Spring. Heart Spring and Star Shower have been very close friends since they were 10 years old. They always do a lot of things together, but today she noticed that Heart Spring isn't seem to be herself. She felt something was a bit different from her for best friend this time. She even noticed that she was a bit sad for some reason. Because every time to see each other, she always had a smile or at least happy in, had happy mood. But this time, it was off differently. She walked up to her friend and asked if something was wrong. She, in fact, said nothing was wrong, just having a bad day. And then she asked if she wouldn't be, be if that, if she wanted to spend some time with her, maybe try to cheer up. But her spring said no. She preferred to be alone this time. So Heart Springs said goodbye and continued walking. Star Shower was a bit different from this because she was out of she was put off on notice from this. She wasn't expecting that her best friend had said no to him spend time. But she respected her wish and continued walk. By the same later afternoon, Star Shower actually ran into some, into some of other friends she was, who was talking to some other, some other of her friends heard about talking about Heartspring. When she walked up to them and asked if there was something, if they knew something was why Heartspring was feeling so lonely or so sad about some for reason. And they asked, wait, she didn't tell you? No. What is it? It turns out that Heart Springs' boyfriend had who, who that she had been dating for the past two years, who lived in Baltimore at this point, had broken up with her. They had so been, been so happy together, but when she found out that she when that he broke up with her, she took it, it very hard. She was so happy with them. They did almost anything together. But she asked for what reason that her boyfriend just broke up with her. Or at least from what her dear friends told, it turned out since they were having a such long distant relationship and they didn't see each other so often, even that they wanted to be able to see each other so often, and that even here her boyfriend had tried to tell her maybe that she can move to to Baltimore so that it can be closer. But she still had not to leave Ponyville because she had her best friend, Star Shower, and even some of her family members who lived in Ponyville. But her boyfriend said that she, she can always go back to see them as, as many times she wanted. But she didn't want to move. So after that, it was signed a brief moment between them until he decides to tell her that it's maybe it's time to, to decide to break up and that he he, lo he no longer was in love with her anymore. And that was the reason why Heart Spring was very hard, was heartbroken. And for that, Star Shower did not even believe it. Why would he even do that? He asked. We have no idea. Because every time these were to get here in Pulmonil or even Baltimore, they were fully really happy. But this. Unexpected, especially they have been together for two years. And I thought maybe he was going to propose to her and all. Yeah, I had a thought on something like that would happen also. But now, but that was the only thing they could say though. Star Shopper said, Well, it's best to leave her alone for some time so that she can get you handle the processes even better for herself. Yeah, I agreed, said the friends. So for the next couple of days, Star Shower wanted to go over to see Heart Spring, but she decided to let to give Heart Spring enough, en enough time to, to handle those handle to handle all of this process, how to, to break up and some of things. But after about a week, she decided maybe it was time to go over to see her friend, how to see how she was handling it. She knocked on the door, 
and he'll sign it. She knocked on it again, and this time, Heart Spring answer. Who is it? It is me, Star Shower. Can I come in? It was silent for a brief moment. Yeah, can I can come in. Star Shower was really happy to see that her friend was at least how tried to at least seem happy, but but for some reason when she gets inside Heart Springs Hall, the environment, there's like the mood in the hall was affecting her as well. She can almost sense the sadness that Heartspring had. She asked Heartspring if she'd maybe want to go out and maybe do something, try to light up the mood for it was. But Heartspring didn't want to go out at all. But after at least conversation about the magic convenience, or at least for maybe just going for a walk at least, maybe for some fresh air could maybe help out the sheriff for some bit. And that she agreed. They walked around in town and just tried to small talk, but Hotspring was, she was not in much in mood for talking. She only answered to only for maybe one or two words for the sentence. But when they reached the sugar cup corner, she asked if she maybe wanted to want to go inside to have something to eat. Even though that Hotspring wasn't even, even wanting to do that, but she liked to do it. So while inside, they were actually just having a good time. Even though that Heart Spring didn't talk much. Star Shower did mention that she heard what happened. And Heart Spring just didn't react much about it. said, yeah, I was just... Let me guess, you were expecting him to be over here for this weekend. Yeah, last weekend. And Hotspring just nodded. Instead for that, it came a letter. But he, but he said that he he no longer was in love with her. And that he didn't want to see her anymore. And he tried what, and told her to just move on. That was the one who broke her heart. But then Hotspring said, You know, this festival is coming into Ponyville in the next couple of days. How about we go to that as normal? You know, as we always do. I don't know. Please, come on. We always have been to this festival before. You know, the games, the, the rides, and the, the Ferris wheel. I don't know, though. Please. Please. All right. <laughs> You'll have to have been begging, begging me for that, she said with a small smile. And that was in fact the first first smile that Heart Spring had been made for a whole week. And of course, in a couple of days later, when this, the festival was arrived, they walked around just having a good time, even though Heart Spring didn't smile that much at all. But when they were up in the fair trail at the top, looking out the view at an evening at the evening with the night sky and all. And then suddenly the fireworks appeared in the sky. You know, there is something I wanted to tell you though, said Horse Star Shower. What is it? Despite after all what happened to you, I cannot even imagine it's like how to be heartbroken. But you know, there is something else I wanted like, to tell you. Yeah. For the past two years, I have been in love with you. Wait, for real? Yeah. But I, even when I found out you were had this, when you found out when I found out you had a boyfriend, I I decided to keep this a secret and not tell any pony about this and. Not even you. Why? You were first so happy when your boyfriend. I, I, I didn't want to jeopardize your friend, your relationship with him. And seeing you were so being so happy with some pony like him, I couldn't bring myself to even do it. But now, I just, 
I just wanted to tell you, though, how much I feel for you. And that was something that shocked Heartspring. As they were arrived on the ground again, Heartspring was just still shocked, speechless. You had no idea what to do or respond to all of this. But then, Star Shower said, Well, at least you know about this at least. And it was probably for best for best. Not, you know, I just want you to know how I feel. And then, she gave her friend a hug, and then she walked off. Alone stood Heartspring. Heartspring was still unsure what to react or what to do. Because just a moment ago, her best friend for many years confessed her true love for her best her own best friend Heartspring. But for Korea what would she have done? What kind of reaction would she even give? That's something that she never expected. So Heartspring went back, went home, and for the next couple of days, she didn't see Heart and Star Shower anywhere. Even the Star Shower lived in Ponyville, they didn't live, they lived quite close to each other. It was like Star Shower was avoiding her at some point. But that was not the case. Star Shower was not even avoiding her. She would just, she just want to give Heart Spring some time to process this confession about her feelings for her best friend. And the same day after all, only two days after the festival was over, Heartspring actually ran into some of the friends who was completely unaware. They went to this restaurant where they had a small, some lunch together, just small talk. When this topic about what Star Shower confessed to her, their friend Turned out was not even aware about it. She was just stunned. What? She told you that? It. But what, what did you do? I didn't know. What? What did you say? I. Did you love her back? And that was something that Star that Horse Brain didn't exactly answer. Well. I don't know. But you have been friends for such a long time. I thought you maybe had some feelings for her, at least were at least aware about this. I have no idea. And I have no idea what to do. What should I even do? Just confess to her I have feelings for her, even if I didn't have any? It would just be wrong. And her friend had no answer for that either. But the only thing she could say was, if you want to know if you have feelings for your friend, listen to your heart, what it says, and your, even your own feelings. Give it time. It will tell you. So for the next couple of days afterwards, Heartspring tried to figure out if she had any feelings for her best friend, Starshaw. But even Starshaw herself was not even aware of what's going to happen. But, nevertheless. For because one day, Starshaw was at the park alone. Heartspring saw her and decided to walk up to her and ask if they could talk. Which... Star Shower, Shower, Star Shower said yes. Heartspring sat down next to her and said, After what you said to me at the festival, I... I had given a list of thoughts around for the past few days and... I just... I know... I know that you don't love me the same way. P please... It's not that. I... I do care you. I care so much about you. You're not my, only my best friend. You, didn't, you have been there for me so, for such a long time. 
and I realize now, you are the one I'm supposed to be with. And Star Shot was just looking for the surprise. What did you send? Are you for real? And Heart Springs just nodded and said that she even she was willing to give them a try to see if they were meant to be with her. And that made Star Shower smile. And for the very first time, they even gave each other a kiss. They decided to give their Lisa to go on dates for a couple of days for about a couple of dates to see if there was any spark between them. If they were even meant to be as a couple. Or just be friends. And apparently, after just about two weeks of being dating, they both would come to realize they were meant to be each other. Because even after the second date, they realized their love for each other was such strongly for that. And even after their third date, Star Shower asked Heart Spring if she wanted to be her girlfriend. Which she said yes. It didn't take long for their families to be told about this. Even they were expected, they were expecting maybe something different. But even Hotspring's parents, both and her siblings, her sister and her brother, was aware about her ex-boyfriend did. But now she's dating her best friend for such many years. That surprised them. But they were very supportive. After such more love between some point of like Star Shower and Heart Spring. They could have been more happier. Because the love between them were beyond anything. And in fact, even on the third anniversary, they in fact went to Baltimore for vacation. Or at least on some road trip. They even though that she was aware that her ex-boyfriend lived there still. But she, since she knows it was a big city, it's not unlikely that she would even run into him. But when they were spending in the hotel, Star Shower was having wasn't wasn't feeling well. She had a, a strong headache, so Heart Spring decided to leave to walk around in town by herself. Since she had been there at least many times before, and as she was even walking around the street. She ran into his pony by without seeing it. She immediately apologized and recognized the voice when she heard, No worries. Heartspring? And it was in fact her ex boyfriend. With another mare. Wait, you know this mare? Yeah. Um, I'm his ex girlfriend. Oh. Um. I'm sorry about what happened between us. Like, don't worry, I understand that now. Yeah, and at least I heard you had some another. I heard you have a special sound point now over this point. Yeah, and it is your best friend of her, and she just nodded and said, "Yeah, she is." So, I hope it's been going well between you two, at least. Yeah, it's going pretty well between us. And I suppose it's between you two. Yeah, we are in fact even married for about for about a year by this point. Oh, I see. Well, I'm happy for you two. Thanks. And that was actually the last time they even saw each other. But when she went back to the hotel, she mentioned this encounter with her ex-boyfriend and Star Shower, who felt a little bit better. She was shocked. But when she mentioned how this meeting went, she wasn't surprised how well they were respected each other. But, but with something though that Harshbring would do. She had moved on, she had found some new person to be with, and her ex-boyfriend had, had done the same thing. And it wasn't even worth to have such, such hatred for some pony who did something that even was some years, a couple of years back. So... They decide to move on from that and just, just be happy for once. When they went back to Pawnville, things between Star Shower and Hot Spring have remained strong. In fact, 
even on their third anniversary, they actually had moved in together. But even on the fourth anniversary, Star Shower took with Hearthbring to the park, where she even proposed. That was something Heartspring never expected, but she said yes. Knowing that they had been together for such only for only a couple for about four years, but had known each other for more than that, she was happy to have found true love. That star shower was her soulmate, that one she had been looking for. Both families were really happy to see it have happened getting married. They actually was just happy. Even at the part itself was, that was organized by Pinky, they was really happy to see both families were such really happy together. They even went to Maid Hannah for their, one, their, for their honeymoon, which was a good time there. But after three years later, both Heart Spring and Star Shower want to have family. So they had asked Twilight, who was a good friend of them, ask if she maybe could help them for some type of baby. And Twilight was happy to help their friends. So Heartspring decided to be pregnant first. And in fact she gave birth later to a daughter. And four years later Star Shower gave birth to a boy. They were really happy to have such amazing family. And especially, Star Shower could have been more happier with some pony like Heartspring. If that, if, if Star Shower had even even confessed her feelings for Heartspring at the festival, she may never have found her soulmate and having this such amazing family with the one that she loved the most of all. And that is the same thing for Heartspring. If her best friend had even confessed to her at the at the at the festival, she may never had even found a true love. And she may have found some pony else to be with. But she was happy years later that in fact Star Shower did confess to Heartspring. Their love between each other was just so was so strong. It would it went beyond anything, and that it also made them both happy together. They couldn't have been more happy with some pony like each other. And this is how Star Shower and Heart Spring for the True Love got a big family together. The